When Matt Winslet pops the hood of UAB's newest fleet vehicle, he isn't talking power, but energy efficiency. Wanting to make an impact on energy savings, UAB added two electric vehicles to its fleet this year. Uh, these fleet vehicles are solar recharged. And what that means is the batteries are charged each day through solar panels that we have on the roof. But for the most part, electricity is generated through the burning of carbon. So we said, well, if we plug them in, we will save, but we're just really transferring that carbon footprint from a gas pump to a power plant. So then the idea came up to use solar. So the solar takes that carbon footprint away. This is totally grid-free transportation, very low maintenance. It costs about two cents per mile to operate the gym, and it is virtually maintenance-free. While you give up a little creature comfort and speed, the gym has many features of a regular car. They are street legal. They have a tag, uh, seat belts, all the necessary bumpers and lights, uh, blinkers, safety light when you back up. Other universities use electric-powered vehicles, but UAB may be the first to recharge the vehicles using solely-powered energy exclusively. I figure we're going to save, you know, two thousand dollars a year in gas, you know, uh, which again is is not just the savings, but it's the savings of carbon, carbon footprint. Eventually, UAB maintenance would like to have an entire fleet of electric-powered vehicles. Mm -hmm.